The EPA is proposing to bring back one of the most destructive herbicides. On July 23rd, the EPA released their plan to reapprove the banned herbicide Dicamba for application on genetically modified soybeans and cotton. Between 2017 and 2019, 5,600 farmers reported that Dicamba destroyed an estimated 5 million acres of crops. The broadleaf herbicide can volatize and drift in the air for 72 hours, destroying all plant and animal life that it comes into contact with. Bayer and Syngenta have already paid $665 million in damages to soybean and peach farmers for destruction caused by Dicamba. Since it was originally banned, a prospective cohort study found an association with Dicamba use and an increased risk of liver and intrahepatic bile duct cancers, as well as acute and chronic lymphocytic leukemia and mantle cell lymphoma. The EPA has proposed a number of mitigation measures with the reapproval in an attempt to reduce its damage and sway public opinion on Dicamba. However, the EPA even admits that their proposed mitigations are not commonplace and could present operational challenges for farmers, especially given that Dicamba would be widely used in states with high temperatures. Even if the mitigation measures were followed, there's no assurance that we wouldn't see similar damages on our health, crops, and plant and animal life. Deregulation is such a high priority that there's a form to quote submit your own deregulatory recommendation front and center on the federal regulatory website and there's a number of proposed repeals on there that I hadn't even known about. The EPA is accepting public comments on their proposed rulemaking between now and August 22nd before they make their final decision. I put a link to this in my bio if you want to leave a comment for the EPA and stop Decamba from being approved again.